and Tracy will lead him around. And we're about to go racing here. And they're off. Elgin Tracy in the 41 tree jumps out to an early lead, followed by Jesse Sandoval in the 1X of Cowie Moore. Elgin Tracy breaking away from the pack with Jesse Sandoval hot on his tail. The track's still looking really slippery out there, so these guys making sure they make their way safely. The double zero of Zach Freeman having a little trouble getting out of turn two there. Falls to the back of the field. Now the number seven of Sandoval coming down the main stretch. Catches up to the back of the 41 of Tracy. We'll see if Sandoval can make his way around. They're neck and neck going down the back stretch, and now Sandoval takes over the lead. The seven of Sandoval pushes the 41T of Tracy up the track. Coming out of turn two, the 41T of Tracy was having a little trouble here on the front stretch, got sideways, slowed him down a little bit which now lets the seven of Sandoval put a pretty good pace on the rest of this field. Flagman says halfway, four more laps to go in this eight lap heat race. With the seven of Sandoval now in a commanding lead on the rest of this pack. Good battle now for third place, the 40 of Dakota Hurley and the one X of Cowie Moore. Trying to get around each other. Looks like the 40 of Hurley all over the back bumper of Moore. Coming out of turns two. Going down the back stretch. Now the 40 tries the top side. The 40 of Hurley trying all he can to get around the 1X of Cowie Moore. Coming out of turn four. Two more laps, two more laps. We'll see if the 40 has what it takes to make his way around. Oh, he goes high and turns one and two and gets loose. That lets the 18S of Peyton, 18S of Peyton now coming in the four spot. White flag, white flag in the air. Captain Joe says one more time around. Car starting to spread out all around the track, but coming at our turn four, the number seven of Jesse Sandoval will be taking the checkered flag. Jesse Sandoval, your heat race winner. Coming in second, the 41T of Elgin Tracy from Stockdale. The 1X of Cowie Moore and the 18S of Peyton having a good battle coming down to the flag stand, but looks like the 1X of Cowie Moore. Take car, it says something about a helicopter. That is, that's no joke. That's a, a little comment from the big hit he took a couple weeks ago. But the number 20 of Mike Lyon leads him around out of turn four and green flag flies. Mike Lyon leads him off. The 741 of Cameron Sorry having a little trouble getting out of turns one and two, but now picks up the pace. He's side by side with the 4D of Dustin Hurley. Track still a little slippery. They get together, the 741 and the 4D of Hurley. Got a little touch together. Coming out of turn four. The 93 of Aaron Letty having a little trouble getting out of turn one there, getting sideways. He drops back. But the 20 of Mike Lyon now putting it on him, putting it on the rest of this field, showing him how it's done. Making his way on the rest of this pack. So the battle right now coming out of turn two is the 741 of Cameron Starry in third position and the 4D of Dustin Hurley. 741 all over the back bumper of that 4D coming out of turn four. They're doing their best 
to keep it clean on this slippery, slippery track. Captain Joe showing them halfway, halfway here at this eight lap, eight laps the distance in this heat race for your factory stocks. Four more laps to go. Competitors starting to spread out around the field. It is hard to pass, hard to pass out there on this slippery, slippery track. Once again, Mike Lyon coming out of turn four, your leader. 4D of Dustin Hurley, and then the 741 of Cameron Starry. And then the 20R of Ricky Long from Floresville. Oh, the Cameron Starry all over the back bumper of the 4D. Gets him slowed up. Now Cameron Starry moves back to the fourth position, and Ricky Long from Floresville moves up to third position. Two laps, two laps to go. We'll see if Cameron Starry can make his way back up to the back bumper of Ricky Long in the 20. Does he have enough time? White flag, white flag, one more to go. 20 of Mike Lyon, firmly in the lead of this heat race. Looks like the 93 of Letty having a little trouble getting out of turn four. Now battling with the 36 of Quintanilla. Checkered flag, checkered flag coming out for your leader, Mike Lyon, in the 20. The 4D of Hurley coming out of turn four, battling with the 20 of Long. And the 741 of Starry picking up fourth place. That looks like the 24 of, of John Leda, I believe, racing that car. Lights are out around the track, so we're going to go green flag racing this time by Clint Montano in the 5X and the 68 of Kenny Wright. Kenny Wright making it out for this heat race. Looks like a little backfire coming there from the 68. They make their way around. Turns one and two. Tight pack. Tight pack, but the 92 of... Brandon Gaither making his way up to the first spot. Oh, but it looks like he had a little help on the back bumper, getting turned a little bit. Looks like we will stay green. The 92 of Brandon Gaither running his way down the infield with the 49K of Keelick now being chased down by the 24 of GW Hessong. GW always a tough competitor here. like the 99D of Dylan Gaither picking up that third spot. With the 92 of Brandon Gaither hot in tow. So right now, your battle for the lead. Oh, looks like we had a little spill. We're over there in turn two. Hunter Peterson getting it looped, scooped, and recouped. We will stay green. Right now, still your leader, the 49K of Keelick. Chased down by the 24 of GW Hessong. Keep an eye on those two competitors. GW always a tough competitor. Now a little smoke. A little smoke coming out of the 49 machine. Keep your eye on that leader and the smoke coming out from underneath. Could be just a little burn off. Could be something major. We'll see how it goes. Once again, a little smoke coming out of turn three for your leader, the 49K, Michael Keelich. Oh, looks like a little trouble again for the 34H of Peterson. He tries to get out of the way of the leaders. We stay green once more. The 34H of Hunter Peterson having all sorts of trouble getting out of turn two. Luckily, does not slow down your leader. 49K and Michael Keelick now coming up on lap traffic with a 24 of Hesson all over his back bumper. We'll see if that lap traffic comes into play. The 68 of Kenny Wright doing all he can to get around here, but we'll see if he stays out of the way of your leaders. White flag, white flag one more time for the 49K and Michael Keelick and the 24 
The 68 of Wright has a little trouble and goes to the top on turn two. He gets spun around but doesn't slow down your leaders. They make their way around. The 24 of Hessong all over the back bumper of Keelik coming out of turn four. Checkered flag for your leader, 49K. Looks like he got him even though the 24 of Hessong was right there at his quarter panel. I believe the 49K made it to the flag stand first, but good race for your two, your top two competitors. 27 of Robert Carr, inside row two, the 07 of Jack Burkhart. Outside row two will be the 88 of Brandon Spreen. Inside row three will be the 93 of Adam Staley. And outside row three will be the 80 of Tyler Fulton. Here they go, green flag. Green flag for your dwarf cars. Looks like the 84 F having a little trouble getting out of turn two. Making way for your other two competitors to get past. They're battling for the lead here. That's the 88 of Brandon Spreen. The 88 of Brandon Spreen now taking the lead down the back stretch. Power move coming down the back stretch, taking the lead here in this heat race for your dwarf cars. Looks like now in third place, the 80 of Tyler Folkert coming down the back stretch, but good distance between your first place and your third place competitor. Brandon Spreen in the 88, showing them how it's done getting around this slippery track. Halfway now, halfway, but he's making his way up onto lap traffic. Brandon Spreen now taking around that lap traffic in turn three. Makes his way around successfully. Clears that lap traffic. The 80 there, the third place car now making his way around lap traffic, coming out of turn two and down the back stretch. Two laps to go, two laps to go for your leader, Spreen. Black man showing him two. White flag now, now for your leader. Spreen in the 88. Looks like Spreen will make his way around maybe one more car coming to the checkered flag. The white and the checkered out. Granite Spreen with a pretty dominating heat race victory there. Showing him how it's done here at I-37. The 80 of Tyler Folker bringing it in third and gets a little slipped up there in turn one. Inside row three will be the 1K of Keegan Moore. And it looks like outside of him will be the 25 of Bandit. And they're off, green flag racing, the 15 of Ty Paxton, maintaining the lead, going down the back stretch, coming into turn three. And the 03 of Drew Stark in tow, coming out of turn four, they battle for the lead. Oh, the 15 of Paxton gets a little high in turn one and two, but maintains. He got slipped up there, so the 03, they were side by side, coming out of turns one and two. Still battling for the lead. The 03 and the 15 battling for the lead there. Once again, the 15 of Paxton maintains the lead coming down the backstretch, but they were side by side. Good battle right there in your top three coming out of turn four and down to the flagstrip. Ty 
Eli Paxton now on the inside. Pushing the 03 up the track. Getting up through the gears, coming down the back stretch. The 15, the 03, and the 12 still all close together. Definitely not maintaining social distancing standards right there. 03 gets a good run coming out of turn two. They battle side by side coming down the back stretch. The 15 of Paxson and the 03 of Drew Stark. Looks like now the 03 will come down to the flag stand in first place. Call it for the 03, now your leader. And now the 12, the 12 T of Dylan Coyne getting around the 15 of Paxton now in second place. Tight battle for your leaders here. Two laps, two laps to go. Captain Joe showing them two. Looks like the 12 of Dylan Coyne maybe making a little ground on the 03. We'll see how they come out of turn four. The 03 and the 12, one, one to go. This time the 12, the 12 of Dylan Coyne taking the flag here at the flag stand. And the 03 now in second place, but they battle for the lead. Battle for the lead coming out of turn three and four. That's the 12 and the 03. Looks like the 12 will take it. 12 of Dylan Coyne. 03 of Drew Stark and the 15 of Ty Paxton. Great battle. Great heat race battle right there for those top three. Outside of him, out of Robstown, the 19 of Jarrett Barber. Inside row two, Trailer Caulfield. Outside row two will be the 93 of Aaron Letty. Three flags there, Texas Church Johnny Brown out of Lacoste in the one. Colton Borlas in the B93. All the way to the top of turn one is that B93, Colton Borlas. And the final row is Chuck Barber in the 19B and the 58 of Matthew Hodge. Getting a little bit high coming into turn three is Trailer Caulfield in the four. Maintaining the lead is the 28 of Parker. The right on his heels is the 93 of Aaron Letty. And the one of Johnny Brown, that yellow and white, number one, and then the 18 or 19, sorry, 19, Jarrett Barber. The 19 of Barber now making his way up into third, right behind Russ Parker coming down the backstretch. The 93 of Letty showing him how it's done, making distance on the rest of this field. 93, Letty, your leader. Once again, the 19 and the 28 of Russ Parker battling for second place coming out of turn two. And down the back stretch, battling for second. The 19 and the 28. Looks like the 19 has an ever so slight lead on the 28. Blackman showing them halfway, halfway on this eight lap heat race. Now the one of Johnny Brown gets low coming into turns one and two. Johnny Brown now pulls aside and ahead of the 28 of Russ Parker. Parker having a little trouble getting out of turn two. So now your leader, Aaron Letty, coming to the flag stand. The 19 of Jarrett Barber and the one of Johnny Brown. Black man showing him two, two times by for the 93 of Aaron Letty, who maintains a secure lead in this heat race. The B93, B93 going off the track, back on the track in the back stretch. And picks back up to speed. Little trouble for the B93 of Morlis. White flag for the 93 of Aaron Letty. Second place is the 19 of Barber. Going into turns one and two, the one and the 19 of Barber having a battle coming out of turn two. The 93 of Morla spins in turn two. We're gonna go yellow flag, yellow flag for the B93 of Borlas 
Stuck up there in turn two. We got him spun around. He scooped it, but was not able to recoup it. Baron Letty, and he lets it go. Coming down the backstretch, looks like he caught the other competitor sleeping. But the 93 of Aaron Letty lets it loose. Coming down the front stretch here. A little green flag. Now the number one of Johnny Brown. The number one of Johnny Brown passes the 19 coming into turns two and three. Johnny Brown now taking over the second spot. The 19 of Barber falling back to third. Coming out of turn three and now into turn four. So the 93 of Letty showing one, one time to go. One more lap for Letty making his way around one and two. Now the 28 of Parker pulls up to the back bumper of Barber coming out of turns two and down the back stretch. We'll see if he can make it back up to the back bumper, but your leader, the 93, Aaron Letty, coming to the checkered flag. Aaron Letty. And coming in second, the one of Johnny Brown. The 19 of Jared Barber pulling it in third. 28, Russ Parker. The 19 is from Divine. Tommy Grimes, always a tough competitor here. And then outside of him will be the 5X of William Jones from Cleveland, Texas. So eight racers here. The number one of Alan Alexander says, let's go racing, boys. Caught him sleeping, coming out of turn two. And the flag man, Captain Joe, says, no, sir. No, sir, no, sir. Not a clean start. Adolph Tracy, Elgin Tracy, Adam Tracy, Tony Bernal, and then a Sean Tracy. Green flag, green flag. Looks like the one of Alan Alexander jumps out to an early lead. The 22 of Tracy and the 11 of Tracy bouncing off of each other. And we're gonna go yellow again. Yellow again, not a good start. Flagman looks him over. Want to make sure we get a good start. The 22 of Adam Tracy back there on the second row. Now we got a good start going, folks. A 22 of Grimes jumps out to an early lead, followed by the 11 of Tracy, and then the 81 of Tony Bernal. Having a little trouble getting out of turn two. It's the 22. And the five, it looks like, slowing each other up. Your leader, the 22, 22, Tommy Grimes going a little high in turn two. Tommy Grimes getting a little loose up there in turns two, but maintains going down the back stretch. Competitors now spread out all around the track. The only battle right now is the one of Alexander and the 81 of Bernal. The one of Alexander gets around him. Now sets aside on the 11. Fast mover, that number one of Alexander coming out of turns three and four. Keep your eye on that number one. We'll see if he makes his way back up to the front. The one of Alexander trying to get around the 11 of Tracy. The 11 of Tracy goes high in turn two and loops it. Loops it around in turn two. We'll see if he can get it turned back around. He does. We stay green. We stay green. The 11 of Tracy loops, scoop, and recoups. The one of Alexander now trying to make his way back up to the back end of the 22 of Grimes. Looks like he needs a caution. Little bit of smoke, little bit of smoke coming out of the 5X, the blue and yellow 5X. Grimes, Grimes, to, your leader gets caught behind the 5X. Slows him up just a little bit, but your leader, Tommy Grimes, makes his way. Now going into turns three and four is your leader, Tommy Grimes. Flagman showing him two. Two more laps for your leader, Tommy Grimes. Once again, a little smoke for the 5X. Second place right now is the one of Alan Alexander, but a good spread. Tommy Grimes making his way out of turn four. Flagman showing him one. One more time to go for the 22 of Tommy Grimes. All sorts of trucks having trouble getting around this racetrack. 
Your leader navigating all sorts of lap traffic. Coming to the checker flag, the 22 of Tommy Grimes. Tommy Grimes taking the checker to now your second place. Second place coming through is the one of Alexander. Having a little trouble is the 5X. I think your third place competitor is the 81 of Tony Bernal. Clark from Converse. Outside of him will be the 17 of Adrian Awalt. And then bringing up the rear will be the 5R of Ryan Doyon from Lacoste. Here we go, green flag racing for the 24 R of Robbie Minton. Robbie Minton jumps out to an early lead. Looks like the 96 of Moppin goes high in turn one. Gets a little loose and falls back to the back of the pack. Tough to see for that always tough competitor. We'll keep an eye on him and see if he can make his way up to the back of the field. 24R, 24R, Robbie Mitten still your leader, but gets a little bit loose coming out of turns. One and two, now the five also getting loose. The five of Cody Clark making his way back onto the track. He got loose up there in turn two. Now falls all the way back to the back. Robbie Minton, the 24R, and now the five of Ryan Doyon making it up to second. The five of Doyon having a little trouble there in turn two, but maintains second place. Hot on their trail. Hot on their trail is the 96 of Jared Moppin. 96 of Moppin now in third place. We'll see if he can fight his way back up to the back bumper of the 5R of Ryan Doyon. Oh, the 5R of Doyon in turn three and four. 5R of Doyon going around in turns three and four. He gets it turned back around. Halfway, we're gonna stay green, we're gonna stay green. Now, the 96 of Moppin, the 96 of Moppin spins around in turns one and two. 96 of Moppin sitting there between turns one and two. The 24 of Doyon can go at any time, so he'll test the metal of the rest of these competitors. See if they're ready to go. He holds them up. Now says, let's go. It turns three and four. Green flag racing for the 24 of Doyon. Sorry, the 24 of Robbie Minton. 24 of Minton goes high in turn two, gets checked up, gets crossed up in turn two, which allows the 17 of Adrian Awalt to catch up to his back bumper. We'll see if the 17 can maintain pace, but now the 5R pulls underneath him and makes the pass. The 5R of Doyon now works his way up to second place. The 24 of Minton making his way on the rest of this field. We'll see if the 5R of Doyon has anything for him. A lot of, a lot of distance to catch up there. As the flag man shows him two, two times to go. Now the five and the 17, the five and the 17 battling. White flag, white flag now for your leader, 24R, Robbie Minton. And the five of Doyon. Five R of Doyon making up a little ground on your leader. Will it be enough? Doesn't look like he has enough coming out of the back stretch, but Minton gets crossed up in turn three and four. Checkered flag for Minton. He held on there, held on for the lead. He got crossed up there in turn three and four. But holds on for the lead. Outside of him will be the 44X of Brandon Welker from Stockdale and the 27 of Justin Delgado. And they're off, the 14T gets a little run and takes over the first spot. But the 44X of Brandon Welker passes him going down the back stretch. Brandon Welker, your leader, we'll see if he can maintain. 14T had a little trouble getting out of turn four. So it's Welker and then Minton and then Fox, Bednars, and then Delgado. Looks like Delgado having a little trouble with that car coming down the back straight. 
44. Welker now pulling away from the rest of this pack. Welker, then Minton. And then the 53X of Fox coming in third. Has a lap car to contend with, but gets around the 27 of Delgado, pulls it off down into the pits. Looks like the 44 Welker slowing down ever so slightly coming out of turns one and two. And the 14T, the 14T of Talon Minton making up a little ground. Two more, two more laps. Minton now catching up to the 44 of Welker. Just a few car lengths now for Minton, who is now in second place. Oh, the 44 of Welker gets crossed up coming out of turn four. White flag, white flag for your new leader. The new leader in the 14T of Talon Minton. Welker having all sorts of trouble getting around on that white flag lap. Now coming to the checkered 14T of Minton. Welker again having trouble getting out of turn four. Takes it all the way up to the wall. Checkered flag for Minton who inherited the race lead right there on the white flag lap as the 44 of Welker had all sorts of trouble getting out of turn four. Outside of him will be the 6P of Levi Hernandez from San Antonio. Inside row two, Catherine Keelick and the 44 from Lavernia. Black man looks him over and gets him the green. Outside of him will be the 95 of Charles Oval. Chris Vincent in the 18R, the 6 of George Clark in the 55, and the 92R of Robert Keelick. Bringing it around to the flat stand is the 6P of Levi Hernandez and the 44 of Keelick. The 44 of Keelick all over the back bumper of Hernandez, followed by the 6 of Butler. And the 55C of George Clark. George Clark all over the 6B of Butler, trying to make his way around safely. The 55 gets a little bit loose out of turn two, but keeps it going straight. Your leader still the 6P of Hernandez, but the 44K 44K of Catherine Keelick sneaks a bumper up underneath the quarter panel. Keep an eye on your top two competitors. Good battle for the lead. Now Keelick gets her bumper underneath the quarter panel. They're neck and neck coming down the back stretch. The 44 of Keelick now takes over the lead. We'll see what the 6P of Hernandez has to say about it. Your leader, the 44K, yellow flag, yellow flag. We had one go around over there in turn two. This can go at any time. We'll see what he does with it. The 6B of Butler and the 44 of Keelick coming in chase. The leader looks him over and gives him the green flag. Hernandez, Keelick, Butler, the 55 of George Clark. Once again, the 44K of Keelick gets under and is neck and neck with the 6P of Hernandez as they go into turn three. Good battle for the lead right there, side-by-side -side battle for these beginner factory stocks. Black man showing them halfway. Four laps complete, four to go for your beginner factory stocks. Now the 44K, Catherine Keelick putting it on the rest of this field. 
making distance on the 6P of Hernandez. Once again, tricky track, tricky track, and if you get anywhere high in turns one, two, three, or four, it gets a little crazy and slippery out there. Back match on them two. Two laps to go, two laps to go for your leader, Katherine Kielik. Showing good control of that car, getting around this racetrack. Catherine Keelix showing these boys how to do it. The 6P of Hernandez gets a little loose coming out of turn two, going down the back stretch now. The, the six of Gary Butler all over the back bumper coming to the checkered flag. Bumper will, Butler will try a last ditch effort, but not enough. Not enough to make it away as around the, the 6P of Hernandez. Second row there, keep an eye on those guys. Outside of, uh, sorry, inside row three will be the 26 of J.J. Jennings, who won the last race here. And then the 11T of Tom Grothews. Bringing it around to the green flag. The 95 and the 3G of Gary Hall. 95 goes high in turn two, making way for the 96 of Butler and the 79 of Mechelcheck. Once again, keep an eye on those two tough competitors. The 96 of Jared Moppin creeping up to the back bumper of the 3G of Gary Hall. Moppin now competing there and coming out of turn two into the back stretch. Moppin had a front fender down there. Just underneath the three G of Gary Hall. But then backs off a little bit. Moppin getting a little crossed up coming out of turn two. Gets the bumper from the 79 to Mechelcheck. 79 to Mechelcheck puts the front bumper on him and passes the 96 of Moppin. 96 of Moppin looks like he's having trouble slowing up there in turns three and four. Moppin now makes his way off of the track, makes the hard turn coming out of turn four. And we have another making his way off the track. So we are left with 3G of Gary Hall, 79 of Mechelcheck, a 26 of Jennings, and the 95 of Tausch. Hall bringing him down the back stretch. We'll see if the 79 of Mechelcheck has anything for him. Black man showing him two. Captain Joe showing him two times, two more times around this track. Now the 79 of Mechelcheck makes his way up and underneath the 3G of Gary Hall. The 79 inherits the lead, but the 79 all over the back bumper of Mechelcheck coming out of turn four. White flag, white flag for your new leader. New leader in the 79 of Marcus Mechelcheck. Now the 79 of Mechelcheck putting some distance on the 3G of Gary Hall. We'll see if he has anything left. Coming to the checkered flag. The 79 of Marcus Mechelcheck takes the checkered. Hall bringing it in second and the 26 for J.J. Jennings. Team of Devin Surratt and outside of him will be the 46 of Jonathan Cervantes. Then the 32 of Joshua Garcia and the 9T of John Thomas bringing up the rear. Looks like the early lead jumping out to the early lead is Brandon McCall in that 14 machine. Oh, it looks like a little trouble. Little trouble coming out of turns three and four. Trouble for the 11J of Josh Jones. He keeps it going in the right direction. Now the 81, 81 in turn two goes up to the top. We're three wide, three wide coming out of turn two. 
That's Cervantes, the 81 of Michael Burris Jr. And it looks like the 14T. 14T is Sean Tracy. 14T of Tracy now picking up the third spot. Brandon McCall, still your leader, jumping out to a big early lead as he goes down the backstretch, chased by the number 15 of Devin Surratt. And then the 14T is Sean Tracy coming in third. Oh, looks like a little trouble. Little trouble there in turn four for the 46. 46 of Jonathan Cervantes slowing to a crawl. Brings it into the infield. We're going to stay green. Cervantes now pulls it in the infield, but we're not sure it's enough. We'll keep an eye on the 46 of Cervantes. Showing them two. Two more laps, two more laps. As the 14B of Brandon McCall makes his way around. We'll see if he has to contend with lap traffic. The number 32 of Joshua Garcia. We'll see if he's still in the way now. Garcia and McCall. Coming together there down in turn two, coming down the backstretch. McCall will try to make his way around the lap traffic. Your leader, Brandon McCall, coming down to the flag stand. Checkered flag waves for Brandon McCall. Oh, coming out of turn four, they get together. The 14 T of Tracy and the 15 of Devin Surratt. Getting together, coming out of turn four, coming to the flag stand for the checkered flag. The pole, the 33 of Jamie Garner. Outside of him will be the 88 of Justin Sitterly from Floresville, Texas. Inside row two will be the eight of Ronnie Schoenfeldt. And outside of him will be the 35 of Daryl Jones. Inside Row three, the 816 of Ryan McDonald, then Riker Hernandez out of San Antonio. And bringing up the rear will be the 007 of Aaron Driscoll. The 33 of Jamie Garner jumping out to an early lead, but it looks like the eight. The eight of Ronnie Schoenfeld now bringing it up in second. And the 816 of Ryan McDonald making a big jump, now fighting for second place. Oh, getting a little bit too high is the eight coming out of turn two. Ronnie Schoenfeld gets high and loses a couple positions to Riker Hernandez in the 88 of Justin Sinnerly. Coming out of turns three and four, still your leader, the 33 of Jamie Garner. Now in second place is the 816 of Ryan McDonald. Jumping up four spots, the 816 of McDonald now all over the back bumper of the 33 of Garner. Looks like the eight again, the eight again of Ronnie Schoenfeld having trouble coming out of turn two, but keeps it straight going into turn three. Now the number 88 getting a little bit loose coming out of turn two. Leaves the door open for the 55 of Riker Hernandez, but runs him down to the bottom of the track. Coming out of turn three and four, good battle is the 88 and the 55.
This time the 88 of Justin Sitterly keeps it low coming out of turns one and two and puts a little distance on the 55 of Riker Hernandez. Competitors starting to spread out around the track. Now the 55 of Hernandez goes to the top of turn two. Keeps it going straight, coming down the back stretch. Flagman showing him two, two times to go for the 33 of Garner. The 88 again, the 88 of Sitterly goes way high in turn two, but he keeps it moving forward. White flag, white flag out now for your leader, the 33 of Jamie Garner, followed by the 816 of Ryan McDonald. We'll see if your leaders have to contend, contend with lap traffic. Your leader's coming up on lap traffic now, coming to the checkered flag. We'll see if they can get around him safely. The 35, the 35 of Daryl Jones. Right there at the end, checkered flag. Checkered flag again for your leader, Jamie Garner. And then the 816 of Ryan McDonald, followed by the 88 of Sitterly, bringing it in third. Your top two. And then the 12, the 12 T of Dylan Coyne, bringing it up in third. Looks like they're going to have to contend with some lap traffic here. Spring going into turn three, the first to contend with that lap traffic. 
Quinn goes low and gets around. Going into turn one, the 15 of Paxson gets around. Halfway, halfway this time by. 20 laps, your distance, 20 laps, and we've gone 10. 10 more laps to go. Oh, your leader now contending with lap traffic in turn two. Spreen navigating his way in and out of all of that lap traffic. He goes low in turn two. And makes his way safely around. Now second place, the 15 of Ty Paxson. Navigating his way through the lap traffic. Ty Paxson makes his array around safely as well. So once again, it's Spreen, Paxton, and then going now into turn three is the 12 of Dylan Coyne. Fifteen of Ty Paxson sneaking up on the backside of the 88 of Spreen. Flagman making sure that the lap traffic knows to watch out. Hold your line as these leaders make their way around you. The 15 of Paxson gets caught behind some lap traffic. We'll see if Spreen is able to take advantage and put some distance on the 15 of Paxson. Paxson makes his way around, going into turns one and two. Now Paxson is just a few car lengths away from the 88 of Spreen. Time running out, time running out. There is two laps to go for your leader. Flagman showing him two. Time running out for your second place competitor and Ty Paxson going into turns three and four. Those are your leaders. White flag, white flag now for Dylan Spreen. Time running out for Ty Paxson. Does he have anything left? Spreen coming down to the checkered flag. Dylan Spreen in the 88. Your feature winner, Ty Paxton in the 15, coming in second. And then a little further back, I believe, is the 12 of Dylan Coyne. And all of the rest of your feature Might be a little timid, the rest of the pack. The 18 of Chris Vincent. And the 95 of Charles Obel, and they're off. Catherine Keelick jumps out to an early lead with the six of Butler in tow. And then the 55, the 55 and the six now having a battle down the back stretch. The 55 of George Clark and the six of Gary Butler. Running side by side, coming out of turn four. Too close to call at the flag stand, too close to call. But now the six of Gary Butler takes over second spot. The 55 of Clark coming down the back stretch, but losing a little speed to the top two. Catherine Keelick still your leader, but now with the six of Gary Butler hot on her tail. The 18R of Chris Vincent having some trouble coming down the front stretch. But still your battle for the lead is the 44K of Catherine Keelick and the 6 of Gary Butler. Catherine Keelick maintains the lead for now. But Gary Butler is right on her back fender. 
Gary Butler now creeps up door to door and takes over the lead for the for the moment. Gary Butler in the six, trying to hold off the 44 of Catherine Keelick now. And the six of Butler takes over the lead. Butler now in the six, coming down the back stretch, putting some distance on the 44K of Catherine Keelick. We'll see if she can regain some ground. But now the 55, the 55C of George Clark. 55C of George Clark trying to sneak up to the back bumper of Catherine Keelick. Halfway, halfway this time by. 15 laps the distance for your beginner factory stocks. 15 laps. So about seven more laps to go for your leader, number six, Gary Butler. Keelick and Butler now come in on a turn four, putting some distance on the rest of the pack. Catherine Keelick doing everything she can, everything she can to get back up to the back bumper of the six of Butler. Does she have enough time? She's running out of laps. Catherine Keelick closing distance now on the six of Butler, but does she have enough time? Two laps to go. Captain Joe showing him two. Just a couple car lengths distance. Now one car length distance for Catherine Keelick. I wonder if Butler knows she's there. Coming around to the white flag. Catherine Keelick gonna try to make a race of it. White flag, white flag for your leader in Butler. We'll see if Keelick puts the bumper on him. Oh, Keelick goes around in turn four. Not sure what happened there. She looked like she was having a good race. But she goes around in turn four unexpectedly. Yellow light, yellow light out. Oh, the 95 goes over the banking. The 95 of Charles Oval. Having a squirrel moment there was the 95 of Charles Oval. Not sure where to go. He went over the banking. Aaron Letty leads him around. Flagman looks him over. Green flag, green flag racing for your Texas Dirt Truck Series. Tommy Grimes and Aaron Letty make their way around turn one. They're neck and neck going down the back stretch. Aaron Letty on the low side, Tommy Grimes on the high side. Tommy Grimes gets the early lead coming to the flag stand. Aaron Letty goes a little bit high and turns two and leaves the door open for Alan Alexander in the one. Alan Alexander now securing that second spot and Aaron Letty diving down low trying to retake that second spot. Looks like the 18 of Sean Tracy going off into the pits. Sean Tracy bowing out of this one. Tommy Grimes, your leader, with the one of Alan Alexander and the 93 of Aaron Letty in tow. Alan Alexander gets a little crossed up. Oh, there's a bumper cover in turn two. Bumper cover in turn two. Debris in turn two will bring out the caution. A couple of trucks ran right over that bumper cover. You can see it there hanging out in turns two.
time. We'll see what he does with it. Keep an eye on the 22 of Grimes. He holds him up down the backstretch, playing a cat and mouse game, going into turn three. Now he lets him loose. Go. Coming down to the green flag is Tommy Go. Grimes. Go. The one of Allen Alexander goes a little high, but so does the 93 of Aaron Letty, which leaves the door open for the 22. The 22 of Adam Tracy in that blue Ford holding his own in the top four. Big melee towards the back of this pack. All sorts of battles going on down the back stretch. Tommy Grimes now putting some distance on the rest of this field. Tommy Grimes making his way out of turn two. Almost a full turn lead on the rest of this pack. Battle going on now between the 1B of Baker and the 19B. The 19B is uh, Chuck Barber. With the 93 of Borlas going around Barber, coming down the backstretch. Now your leader, Tommy Grimes, having to contend with lap traffic. Tommy Grimes fighting with that lap traffic coming down to turn three. Lap traffic having a little trouble getting out of turn four. Tommy Grimes make it safely around. Three wide, three wide going into turn three. They bump and bounce off of each other. Now we got a spinner. Spinner in turn three and four. Yellow flag, yellow flag. We got one spinning here on the front stretch as well. That's the oh. Keep an eye on that yellow light. The yellow light goes out, so Tommy Grimes can go at any time. He holds the field up, holds him up down the back stretch, and brings him up to speed. Here we go. Green flag once again for the 22T of Tommy Grimes. Looks like the one of Brown sending the 93 of Borlas up to the top of the track. They're coming back down the back stretch. Looks like everybody's going the right direction. Tommy Grimes putting on a show right now, showing these guys how to get around this track. The flagman says halfway, halfway this time by, 10 laps to go. See a little bit more smoke coming out of that 5X of William Jones. Just a little white smoke. We'll see how that goes. Your field starts to spread out little distance between all of these racers. Little battle going on right now for the fourth position. That's the 19 of Jarrett Barber and the 22 of Adam Tracy. The 19 of Barber right now has gotten around Tracy in turn two as they go down the backstretch. Barber now takes over that fourth spot. As we see the 11 slow to a crawl on the go-kart track here. The 11 makes his way down to the infield. Now the 22 of Tracy gets a big bump from the 81 of Bernal. Bernal now takes over that fourth spot. Going down the back stretch. Tommy Grimes, your leader, now moving through lap traffic. And getting caught up is the 93 of Aaron Letty. Aaron Letty had to get hard on the binders coming down the back stretch to get around the five. 
And now that he's through, now getting on the binders again, getting around the four of Trailer Caulfield. Aaron Letty now makes his way around the four of Trailer Caulfield, heading down the back stretch. Now we'll contend with the one of Johnny Brown. Still your leader, Tommy Grimes. The 93 of Borlas pulls off. 93 takes it back into the pits. Two laps, two laps to go now for your leader in Tommy Grimes. A straightaway lead now for Tommy Grimes, putting it on the rest of this field. Now contending with lap traffic. The Tommy Grimes trying to get his way around the 28 of Russ Parker. White flag, white flag this time by. Aaron Letty securely in second place and Alan Alexander now in third. And then with the 19, the 19 of Jarrett Barber in fourth. Coming to the checkered flag is your leader. Tommy Grimes with the 93 of Aaron Letty and the one of Alan Alexander. That is their top three. The rest of these guys bringing it home. Once again, the 22. The 22 of Tommy Grimes bringing it home. On your leaders. These guys always tough competitors here. Lights out around the track. Flagman eyes them, eyes them over. Green flag in the air. Let's go green flag racing for your IMTA modified. Jared Moppin with a big move, making his way up to the fourth spot. Coming around, now he's in third, looking at second, already on the first lap. Three wide, three wide for your leaders. The 24R of Robbie Mitten goes high in turn two, hangs on to it, but now your leader the 96 of Jared Moffin, but look out! Moffin and Minton side by side going into turn two and down the back stretch. Minton and Moffin putting it on each other right here in the beginning of this race. Jared Moffin bows out, tries to get back down to the bottom of the track. Now the 17, the 17 of Awalt passing the 16 of Bednar is going into turn three. And the five of Doyon looks to get under the 44X of Brandon Welker coming down to the flag stand. The 44X of Brandon Welker. Carson Bednar's gets a little bit loose. Now your leaders back up to one another, coming out of turn three and four. Oh, they get together. They get together, the 24R of Robbie Minton all over the back bumper of the 96. Jared Maupin, your new leader. Maupin leaving the left front tire at home all the way down the back stretch. That left front tire not even making contact with the race surface. Watch him as he goes down the back stretch on that 96 machine. Left front tire in the air. Oh, the 44 of Walker and the 17 of AWALT get together coming out of turn two. The 17 and the 44 are now battling each other along with the 16 of Bednar's. Sorry, that's a 14T. A 14T of Minton all over the back bumper of the 17. Their leader now, Robbie Minton, or uh, Jared Maupin, contending with lap traffic. Halfway, halfway this time by. 96 of Maupin, halfway. 10 more laps to go. 10 laps for Jared Maupin, your race leader. 
Jared Maupin now putting some distance on the second place car, the 24R, Bradley Minton. Minton now passing the lap traffic. Coming out of turn four. Oh, Carson Bednarz meets the wall. Meets the wall, yellow flag, yellow flag for Carson Bednarz. He has the opportunity to start this race. We'll see what he does with it. Keep an eye on that 96. He can start at any time. He holds them up going into turn three and four. Holds them up some more. They get piled up. Here we go. Green flag. Once again, the 96 of Maupin out to a big early lead with the 44 of Welker having a little trouble getting out of turn two. Goes up to the top side, but he slows down. Gets turned around in turn two. The 24R of Minton gets turned around. Yellow flag comes out. Not sure what caused that. Of Jared Maupin, he can start at any time. He tows the field around to turn three and four and takes off. Green flag. Looks like the 44 of Welker goes high in turn two. Keeps it straight going down the back stretch. The 96 of Maupin, that tire all the way off the racing surface. leader the 96 of Maupin now putting on more car links distance between him and the 5R Ryan Doyon oh the 44 Welker goes high again in turn two keeps it going straight but he has to check up The 14T of Talon Minton now up to the back bumper of the five of Doyon. They're going to battle down the back stretch coming out of turn three and four. Right now, the only battle is the 5R and the 14T in turn two. Black man chosen two. Two more laps. Oh, 14. T of Mitten gets a little bit, a little bit loose there. Turn four. Loses momentum. White flag. White flag for your leader, the 96, the Jared Maupin. And it looks like if everybody can stay straight, checker flag, checker flag for the 96 of Jared Maupin. Coming in second, the 5R of Doyon and the 14T of Talon Minton. Coming in fourth, the 44X of Brandon Welker. Captain Joe over there. To... All right. This is my first interview of the night. I'm so excited. I'm prepared to contain myself. Nice to see you, Jared. Pop it. Come. That was kind of an exciting race right there. Y'all had a good race going on, and then uh, 
I don't know, somebody was behind you and then you were kind of just out there by yourself. But man, you did a hell of a job out there. Fast hammer down track and carrying that left front all the way down the front straightaway. I don't know, they couldn't see it, but I could. It was a pretty impressive. Yeah, I could feel it after that first lap. I was like, man, this thing's just never going to come down. But it, uh, the track's so rough, it's hard to tell if you're making good laps or not because the car's just bouncing all over the place. But uh, luckily, nobody caught up. Yeah, no, you did a heck of a job. Great job. Kept the car underneath you. Anybody you want to thank tonight? I got to thank Rick Valera and uh, John Howe. I know they're in Alabama racing for the Rattler. Uh, this Longhorn chassis, RNN install, BMF shock and chassis, and everybody else helping me out. Awesome. Thanks for being here tonight, buddy. Be sure to get. Let them hear you folks, the 96 of Jared Moppin putting on a show for you guys, leaving the left front at home all the way around this racetrack. It's awesome to see that. Looks like all 19 competitors making it. Lights are out around the track. Sandoval will lead them around. Flagman looks them over. Green flag racing, green flag racing. All sorts of action going on down the back stretch. We're two and three wide, coming into turn three and four. Looks like the 20, 20 of Mike Lyon jumps out to that early lead with the seven of Sandoval and now the 4D of Hurley bringing it up in third. Oh, the 41 of Tracy goes around in turn two. Big melee in turn two. They make it around safely, but the yellow flag comes out. Hopefully wants to keep it in one piece. The one X of Cowie Moore. Here we go. Coming to the green flag is the 20 of Mike Lyon. Little bit of smoke there in turns one and two. Hard to see who it came from. But a good battle for about fifth and sixth spot right there. Coming into turns three and four. Now down to the flag stand. The 24 of Hessong now bringing it up into the third spot with the 99 of Gaither trying to fight for that fifth and sixth spot. Now the 4D of Hurley all over the back bumper of the 20 of Mike Lyon. 4D of Hurley working his way around the, the hub of this racetrack on the bottom line. Now up to the back quarter panel is Hurley coming out of turn two. Hurley fights alongside the 20 of Mike Lyon. And the 99 of Gaither pulls alongside the 24 of GW Hessong. Gaither now pulls it up into the third spot in front of Hessong, working his way around the bottom side of this racetrack. Gordy of Hurley now makes his way underneath the 20 of Mike Lyon. But Mike Lyon is still right there on the outside. Let's we'll see if he can make that outside line work. Mike Lyon drops back to second, and now Dylan Gaither in the 99. Dylan Gaither getting underneath Mike Lyon, trying to take over that second spot as they go into turns three and four. Now the 24 of Hessong, the 24 of Hessong also works underneath the 20 of Mike Lyon. Hurley, and now Gaither for second, Hessong, Lyon, the seven of Sandoval.
Your leaders now catching up to lap traffic in turns one and two. We'll see how they navigate it. Hurley drops down all over the back bumper of the 99 at Gaither. Your leader now, Gaither, working his way through lap traffic coming out of turn two. Oh, three wide in turn two. The seven of Sandoval dropping off the pace. Seven of the Sandoval having some problems getting around there in turn four. Meanwhile, your leader still contending with lap traffic. The 99 of Gaither going around the outside of your lap cars. Oh! Gaither and the 68 of Wright get together right here on the front stretch. But they keep it going the right direction. Now the 4D of Hurley making a big move, trying to catch up to that back bumper of Gaither. Oh, one goes around in turn four. Turn four. Oh, no. All sorts of sliding going around. The 49K of Michael Kielik having to bail out there. Looks like we're going to stay green. Your leader, Dylan Gaither now, still contending with lap traffic with the 4D of Dustin Hurley right there, looking for an opening. Gaither works his way down on the bottom of the track, trying to get around this lap traffic. Now the 4D of Hurley trying to get around the lap traffic. Makes it three wide going down the back stretch. Three wide coming into turns three and four. White flag, white flag for your leader. Dylan Gaither out to a good lead, but now 4D of Dustin Hurley. One lap to go. Time running out for Dustin Hurley. Checkered flag for the 99 of Dylan Gaither. Checkered flag for Dylan Gaither in that 99 machine. There he is on top of the car, folks. He can hear you now. Dylan Gaither fighting through all of that lap traffic fighting through all of those cars there on the first few laps making his way to the lead hard fought race right there for the 99 who finds his way back to the winner's circle here on our front stretch captain joe gonna talk to dylan gaither right here in just a moment as he gets his helmet off well how how fun was that? You had to get up on the wheel there, didn't you, a little bit? Every a while, I did. Man, it was kind of rough in one and two. You just had to help the tires. And this car here with Justin Whitehead and them down, let me run it. This car is a Cadillac compared to any car I've ever raced. But getting through that lap traffic, you just got to pick and choose. And I just got to use bumper sometimes. And they got this pretty good racing, but as these ruts are kind of, you missed your mark. It was going to be a rough ride. And I can't, like I said, I can't appreciate how and out him for letting me run this car. Probably he's going to run it. I know we have a couple more races on the schedule with it, so it's got to be back in the winter circle. Kind of nice time to breathe hard after a race, though, isn't it? <laughs> All right, congratulations. Anybody else want to thank real quick? I just want to help me out, even on my own personal car, Phil Home Claiming Services, uh, Randy's Bell's Bond, uh, Rachel Plant, and all the stuff she does for us, and just tracks to give us a race, give us a place to race, my girlfriend, and just everyone else. Got to be back, getting back to normal. Awesome. Good, good job tonight. Don't forget to go this time by 20 laps for your limited modified sponsored by Swenson race products on the button is the 79 of Marcus Mechelcheck flag man looks him over and here we go green flag race yeah. 
jumping out to the early lead is the 79 of Marcus Mechelcheck, and then in tow is the 26 of JJ Jennings. Tracking down the 26 is the 96 of Jared Maupin. He's got a little experience on this track. He knows what to expect. We'll see if he can make that work as he creeps up closer and closer to the back bumper of the 26 of Jennings. Keep an eye on that red and black 96 machine. As we make our way through our race, Half price hot food, half price hot food at the concession stand. Go clean out that concession stand of all the hot food you can get. Once again, half price hot food, half price hot food in the concession stand. The 96 of Maupin now works his way up to the back bumper of the 26. Turn two, they're neck and neck coming down the back stretch. We'll see if Jennings knows that he's there. Halfway this time by for your limited modifieds. Jared Moppin now up underneath the 26 of Jennings. Can't make it stick coming out of turn two. He'll try again. Jared Moppin doing all he can to make that car stick on the bottom. Trying to get around Jennings. He's got that front bumper all over the back fender of the 26 of Jennings. Oh, Maupin now getting a little crossed up coming out of turn two. He hit a big bump right there in turn one and lost some momentum. We'll see if he can catch back up. Oh, Jennings, 26 of Jennings loses power. Coming out of turn two, Jennings now off the pace, gives up the second spot. We'll see if they can make it down to the pits. Also looks like the 95 of Tausch going off into the pits. Marcus Mechelcheck, still your race leader. Now with Jared Maupin in second place. But a big distance, big distance between Marcus and Jared. Two laps, two laps to go. Oh, Jared gets crossed up coming out of turn four. Tough racetrack out there for these limited modifieds. White flag for Mar Marcus Mechelcheck. Jared Maupin running out of time as Marcus Mechelcheck makes his way down the back stretch. Checkered flag, checkered flag now for Marcus Mechelcheck in the 79. And takes home the victory, Marcus Mechelcheck. Along with Jared Maupin bringing it home in second. And the 3G of Gary Hall Jr. bringing it home in third. We'll talk to Captain Joe here as Marcus gets out of the car. He can hear you now, folks. Marcus, pretty impressive run there, buddy. What, uh, how'd it feel? Oh man, this car has always been a dream to drive since Joe's left me behind the wheel. I want to give a big thanks to them and uh, Denny and Derek and 
uh, Justin for coming out to help tonight and everything they're doing for me, and Carolyn, my wife, and for picking up all my slack at home, letting me come do this, my parents for all their support, and everyone else that comes out and supports us. Good job tonight, buddy. Anything else you want to thank real quick? Oh, well, I definitely want to thank Johnny Torres for taking over this place and letting us have a place to race at, and everyone that's helping him out, and everyone that comes out and supports this, guys. Good job, buddy. Don't forget, go to Tech. Daryl Jones in the 35, coming out of San Antonio, Texas, and Jonathan Cervantes in the 46. Green flag, green flag racing for your tuner. Oh, we got a little melee in turns one and two. They keep it going in the right direction. That looks like the 35 and the 007. Justin Sitterly in the 88 moving backwards. Not sure what's going on there, but looks like he's having a little trouble. Hard around turn four. Your leader, the 14B, Brandon McCall. Right behind him is the 33 of Jamie Garner. And then we have the 816 of Ryan McDonald, currently in third. Now your leaders having to contend with lap traffic. McCall makes it around the 35 of Daryl Jones. So do the rest of your leaders. All three of your leaders now making their way around the lap traffic. Once again, half price hot food at the concession stand. Half price hot food. Oh, the 88 in turn four. All over the back bumper of the 81. Brandon McCall, still your leader. With the 816, now taking it up into second place. And the 33 of Garner, now in third. 816 making his way around lap traffic in turn four. Now the 33 at Garner also having to contend with lap traffic. between the 88 and the 81 going into turn one the 88 is just considerably all over the back bumper of the 81 now goes high in turn two loses a little bit of momentum that leaves the door open for the eight of Ronnie Schoenfeld Halfway, halfway this time by for your leader, Brandon McCall. Now the 816 again, the second place 816 in turn two, having to contend with lap traffic. Looks like he gets around safely. Now the 33 of Garner will have to make his way around the same lap traffic. The 81 and the 88. Beaten bumpers here coming into turn four. Now the 81 gets alongside the 88. 88 goes high and loses some momentum, leaving the door open for the eight of Ronnie Schoenfeld. 
now the 88 again. Big surge from the 88. They come together here on the front stretch. They just keep on fighting each other, folks. Those three cars right there, the 81, the 8, and the 88. One will take over, lead, and then they switch back and forth. Now amongst that big melee, your leader, Brandon McCall, having to fight right alongside those three cars that are battling each other. So Brandon McCall now fighting through lap traffic. Still your leader. Gets around the 88 of Sitterly. Now looks to the back bumper of Schoenfeld coming into turn three and four. Brandon McCall still fighting with lap traffic. Makes his way around the eight of Schoenfeld and ducks down underneath the 81. McCall now taking, taking the bottom lane underneath the 81 and secures, still secures his first place spot. Black man showing him two, two times to go for 14 of a call. White flag, white flag now for the 14 of a call. Now coming to the flag stand is the 816 of Ryan McDonald. Big distance, big distance between McCall and McDonald. And the third place of Garner. Looking up underneath the 33 of Garner. Red hot brake rotor, red hot brake rotor under the 33 of Garner. Look at that brake rotor going red hot under the 33 of Garner. Checkered flag from McCall, bringing it home in first. Then the 816 of Devin Surrett and the 33 of McCall, or uh, Garner, sorry, 33 of Garner, bringing it home in third. They just front row service right here for Joe Spillman. Maybe I'll have to climb back up and down. <laughs> but it's tough to get up and down here. It's a blast, buddy. You getting out? No? <laughs> Brandon says, no, sir. You got to come down to me. You could have, like, been a drive-up window right there, Brandon. <laughs> Mr. Brandon McCall, your sprint compact front rider two winner. I don't ever know what to call these things. So I just call it all of them. So, Brandon, look good out there, buddy. You were fast. Thank you, thank you. It was, it was a bottom feeder tonight. I mean, it, it stuck on the bottom and it stayed there and didn't want to stay there. And it felt good. That looked great. Anybody want to thank? Uh, Rune Saunders, Freddie Harris, Sammy Clay, E. Preferred, Long Les Bettis, Big Bettis step, big stage, and a big old Franco. There you go, buddy. Good job tonight. Don't forget to go to Tech. You do a good job down here, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it.